Hey, it's John here from John Still Runs. I'm about to go for a run soon in the warmest part of the day. Um, and have you ever found that when you are running and you feel hot, your pace slows? Or if you keep a certain pace that is normally comfortable, it becomes uncomfortable. And your heart rate increases more than it normally does at that pace if you're running in some heat. Why is this so? And how hot does it have to be to affect your pace? And can you acclimatize or acclimate to the heat and have your pace less effect affected? Can this acclimation be measured? Are you using it with your Garmin watch? And I am. And later on when I go for a run in the warmest part of the day, We'll see how we can use the metric of heat acclimation to assist me as I move forward during the summer, the very hot summers of Dubbo. back. So just about to go for a run and uh, I'll try to answer some of those questions I asked in the car. Before you go for a run though, and it's a little hot, I suggest that you wear the right gear. Um, perhaps a singlet, some sunglasses, cap. Make sure you sunscreen, which I've done all over and generally I have a, a, a pre, pre-hydration drink and I take with me a, a small drink, depending on the length of the run or more than a small drink if it's a long run. So let's get this run going and we'll try to ask, try to answer some of these questions. So why is it harder to run in the heat? I guess um, your neurological system, your brain and nervous system know that it's not good for the body to rise in temperature too much. So it starts directing messages to your, um, your, your skin surfaces and uh, to open up the sweat glands and at the same time decreasing the amount of blood going to the to the um, uh, central part of your body towards the periphery where the little blood vessels known as capillaries can open up and supply more blood to that area. Between the sweat glands and the capillaries opening up you'll sweat more freely and through evaporative heat loss your body can attempt to cool down. Um, now that's an interesting thing for people. Some people do it better than others and heat accl acclimation is the key. So as the blood is directed away from your cardiovascular system, you become less efficient. So your heart rate has to rise or your pace has to drop. One of the two or both. Otherwise, you're going to cook. So how hot does it have to be this slowing down process to occur and you know it's not just the temperature it's the humidity as well the higher the humidity the harder it is for your sweat to evaporate and cool your body down so for me <laughs> I don't cope with humidity very well because I'm from Dubbo generally has low humidity because we're about 400 kilometers inland of the coast when I go to the coast to run uh, really struggle even if it's about 20 degrees in Dubbo 20 degrees is fine most of the time so it de depends on the humidity um, and it depends on how acclimatized you are to the heat or as Garmin call it 
heat acclimation. So can you measure heat acclimation? Well, Garmin attempt to do this through their um, heat and altitude um, acclimation um, algorithm, which some watches have. My watch has it, Instinct 2S, maybe yours does too. It has to be either a, a Phoenix 67 or a 945. Uh, I'm not sure if 245 and above do it. Um, so how does it work? Well, it's got to be above 22 degrees, firstly, and I think today's about 25, 26. Might get up to 27 by the end of this run. And it uses GPS. Whoops. My uh, phone just fell out of the tree. It uses GPS and weather data from your phone. So you've got to carry your phone with you. Um, and you've got to have make sure that Bluetooth connection is uh, with your watch. And it will adjust your training state status and VO2 max according to the numbers that it gets and gives you a, a change in uh, percentage acclimation. So mine recently said 25%, then it went down to 20%, 15%. I don't know what it's going to be after this run. It's probably not hot enough because I haven't done any hot runs since last Friday. After about three days, it loses some of the percentage. Well, you lose some of your heat acclimation. So that's how it works, roughly. That's a real rough explanation. That's the best I can do. The more runs you do in the heat and the more intense, the more acclimated you become. Um, yeah, it's not always, it's not pleasant running in the heat. So often I usually try and run in the morning rather than the afternoon, which I'm doing today for the purpose of this video. So my question to you is how heat acclimatized, heat acclimated are, are you? If you're from the Northern Hemis Hemisphere at the moment, probably not very. In the Southern Hemisphere, starting to warm up. Um, yeah, how heat acclimated are you? And is it something that you look at on your stats after your run? Whether you've had that increase in percentage. If you don't use it and you'd like to, when I finish this run, I'll uh, put up at the end of this video uh, a series of screenshots of where to go on your Garmin Connect app. app. So that's all for now. Heat acclimatization, heat acclimation, the Garmin heat acclimation. Give it a go if you don't already. <music>